The first one is sunlight. Okay, sunlight is most simplest uh, method of storage. Uh, by exposure to sunlight, we deteriorate the tree less rapidly and even after one week storage. Okay, basically sunlight storage ni awak hanya letak dekat luar yang terdedah dengan uh, uh, cahaya matahari. Okay, untuk uh, uh, kalau katakan awak boleh dapat uh, jumlah cup lumps yang uh, agak uh, banyak dalam tempoh 2-3 hari sunlight storage should be uh, enough untuk awak, tak ada masalah lah so within 3 days, awak terus boleh proses but if you need to collect within a week might probably you need to figure out another methods okay, because the rubber become hard to process and will impair most of the physical properties such as viscosity and hardness okay, to overcome this type of sunlight uh, disadvantage or problem we go through with the wet storage. What is wet storage? Or previously I did mention, but you uh, just left your uh, collected, uh, autogogulated uh, rubber, which is cut lumps, uh, on the direct sunlight. But this method, a light of water spray prevents free coagulant from becoming hard and facilitates cleaning and blending later. So, kalau dulu awak letak uh, bawa matahari, awak biarkan saja dia akan jadi terlampau keras. So awak gunakan wet storage awak spray uh, air sedikit untuk kekalkan kelembapan so that dia takkan terlampau keras uh, itu fungsi wet storage but however continual washing action results in removal of naturally occurring antioxidant and accelerator with consequence reduction in quality so usually untuk wet storage although it's good for weak spring storage but uh, kalau terlampau kerap awak akan remove awak punya antioxidant accelerator which is uh, akan impact pada awak punya quality uh, for example untuk uh, CV rubber more likely dia akan effect kepada uh, dia punya properties ok the third one is a smokehouse or dry storage ok this method is employed by small holder uh, who have uh, neither large tank or adequate water supply the figure is normally left on the floor of the smokehouse where the uh, reef smoke sheet is being produced to prevent the bad, uh, bad smell this technique makes uh, subsequent dirt removal is difficult although physical properties are unaffected so I need to show you what is reef smoke sheet so we go through here this is the reef smoke sheet Okay, okay. So, kenapa nama dia rib smoke sheet? If you can see here, uh, this uh, rubber sheets, they are the groove. Okay, uh, so uh, this sheet is hung, di digantung dekat dalam awak uh, punya smoke house. Okay, fungsi smoke house ni adalah satu untuk keringkan dengan lebih cepat. Okay. Yang keduanya untuk elakkan uh, uh, getah awak berbau okay. So getah ni sebab dia ada protein So more like dia akan berbau kalau dia basah dan lembab so, Sebab tu awak kena keringkan dengan secepat yang mungkin okay. Fungsi kenapa dia buat dalam bentuk uh, sheet sekeping Sebab apa kalau dia bentuk dalam segumpal tu dia akan uh, susah untuk kering Okay, so kalau bentuk sekeping ni, surface area dia besar, so more likely dia akan cepat untuk kering. And this is the illustration of uh, uh, apa smoke house. Okay, dia akan gantung banyak-banyak dan dia akan ada uh, dalam rumah tu akan ada uh, bahan bakar yang akan ele uh, elevated the temperatures of the smoke house. So, dia macam salai lah awak punya... Uh, getah ni. That's why dia kata rib smoke sheets. Okay, fungsi dia untuk keringkan dengan untuk elakkan dia berbau. Dalam masa yang sama dia akan produce quality yang uh, bagus sebab dia kering uh, dalam masa yang singkat lah. Uh, tu maksudnya. Next, we go through uh, the third storage which is the total immersion require very big tank to soak and fill coagulum will also encourage leaching out of naturally occurring uh, antioxidant and accelerator the advantage uh, the initial blending is simple uh, mineral and organic contaminants have time to settle out or separate to the surface of chemical treatment made, uh, may be made if desired total emission period is about two weeks in the maximum tolerable 
is any quality produce is demanded. Okay, the best parts of uh, the, the best methods of uh, storage is total emission. Kenapa? Okay, awak akan rendamkan semua sekali awak punya uh, collected rubber dalam satu tank yang sangat besar. Okay, bila awak rendamkan, awak dalam masa sama awak tukarkan kelembapan dia. Okay, so dia tak terlampau keras untuk diproses, which is senang. Yang keduanya, during the total emission, it will leach out any dust atau pun awak punya uh, any uh, antioxidant or accelerator that will affecting the total properties of your final rubber. However, untuk total emission period of uh, rub, uh, rubber is about two weeks. Uh, it's maximum. Okay, uh, usually in industry they use uh, seminggu saja lah, seminggu hingga seminggu lebih. Uh, itu bergantung kepada standard yang awak nak produce. Okay, however only uh, very large industry that uh, use these types of storage because it require very big tank. Okay. In summary, uh, dry storage of the factory floor is normally used for long-term storage and the recommended storage method is wet storage uh, or total immersion but limited to a few days and depending on the numbers of soaking tanks available. Next, okay, uh, the DRC determination. Uh, the DRC of latex is the percentage of by weights of uh, dry rubber sheet over the weights of latex tested. Individual taper collection are normally weighed at reception by uh, by experience and estimate the DRC is recorded for payment purposes. I did mention again and again about this. It is very important to determine the DRC because you pay uh, the tapers atau uh, peladang ni uh, dengan harga DRC ya, getah dia bukan berat keseluruhan uh, latex, okay? A similar estimation, estimation is made by experienced personnel for lorry load of field grade rubber in remailer or estate factory. It is necessary to determine the RC uh, on the field attacks in the estate as well as the factory. The purpose is the first one for tra uh, trading purposes. When trading is involved, payment is made based on the DRC of field attacks. Therefore, the seed full by adding water into fresh latex can be avoided. Kenapa? Okay, there is an issue whenever you treat your uh, latex. Orang tak amanah lah kiranya. So, they will add water in the field latex so that dia jadi banyak latex awak tu. So, kalau awak pakai total volume, awak akan rugi. Sebab katakan awak bayar uh, satu container tu ataupun uh, satu tank tu, lori tu, uh, jumlah keseluruhan latex awak. Tapi sebenarnya jumlah uh, rubber dalam tu sangat sikit sebab dia ditambah air. That's why it is, it is very important to uh, measure the DRC before a training purpose can be uh, made. Okay. The second one for chemical addition, the amount of chemical example, the antioxidant sodium, uh, sodium metabol sulfates to be added in the field latex based on the RC. Previously, I did mention about our punya chemical additions. Okay, untuk elakkan uh, over uh, uh, auto uh, oxidations on your field latex, tak nak jadi autocoagulator, tak nak jadi darker in color, you need to put antioxidants such as the sodium metabol sulfate. So, dia metabal sulfate usually to prevent any darkening lah. Okay, untuk elakkan daripada jadi gelap. Tapi, berapa jumlah of uh, sodium metabal sulfate atau antioxidant yang perlu diletak? Itulah pentingnya awak tentukan di RC. Jumlah uh, dry rubber content yang akan menentukan volumes of the, uh, sodium metabal sulfate need to be used or need to be added to your latex to prevent any darkening. Uh, the third one, for coagulation, uh, coagulation purpose, the molasses is added uh, based on the DRC assisted biological uh, coagulation ABC process. Okay, I, uh, previous chapter I did mention about the uh, molasses of the uh, uh, techniques which using the assisted biological uh, co uh, coagulation, which is ABC. Okay, it is very important to know the DRC content so that you can add the molasses so that it can be autocoagulated. The mixture of diotide uh, sulf, uh, sulfocyanates and uh, calcium chloride are added based on the DRC in continuous coagulation process. Uh, once of the coagulation process or is the auto uh, continuous coagulation process, 
and dioxide sulfocyanates uh, and calcium chloride are added based on DRC. So pentingnya uh, tahu DRC untuk calculation processes. Uh, the fourth one for preservative additions or preservative uh, system, the level of hydroxylamine in the latex is based on DRC for uh, hydroxylamine ammonia preservative system. Okay, uh, last two chapter I did uh, mention about the uh, preservative, uh, how to prevent latex from coagulated so that you can store in a latex form or liquid form. So uh, the amounts of HNS uh, you need to add into your rubber is uh, measured via the amounts of DRC. And finally, the qualitative and quantitative analysis of estate production to evaluate of the recording purpose of estate production because uh, this is uh, purposely for researcher to know that uh, the quality that latex been produced by certain film uh, or estate uh, most of, uh, depends on the DRC uh, value. Although, Katakan ladang itu menghasilkan latex yang sangat banyak tapi kalau di RC di sangat rendah more likely the quality is very uh, low lah. So kita nak latex yang uh, medium in quantity but the DRC content is very high. This is the good qualities of uh, latex produced by the estates. Okay, that's all from uh, for this chapter and hopefully uh, uh, I did cover all of uh, this chapter and you if you have any question you can always text me uh, and i see you in a whatsapp group so, so that you can uh, ask me a question regarding this chapter and uh, please remember study uh, from chapter one to chapter four for your test one that's all from me thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh